Good evening to you from a city that has become one of Germany's most visited in recent years. We're in Leipzig. I'm Derek Ray here on the commentary box and I'm joined for commentary by Lee Dixon. And the focus is on the Bundesliga. Live action coming up. It's RB Leipzig up against Hertha Berlin. Yeah, thanks, Derek. Both teams will no doubt be looking for a quick start. So important to get focus from the off. Really looking forward to this. Hopefully it won't disappoint. And let's have a look at the starting 11 for Leipzig. Peter Gulacci is the goalkeeper of choice. Marcel Zabitza plays alongside Emil Forsberg in central midfield. And the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. A look at the Hertha starting lineup. Pretty well balanced this formation, Lee. Yeah, it can be a 4 2 3 1 in the offensive mode, but it can also go back to a 4 5 1 when you're defending. The lone striker will be supported by the three just behind him, especially the number 10 who will be given a free roll. And they kick off here. Nkunku has it. Emil Forsberg. Upa Makano. The ball with Zabitza. Nkunku has it. Forsberg. It might be perfectly set up for the counter attack, you know. He has time to play it over. And an example of a counter attack that went nowhere. The ball with Zabitza. Nkunku has it. Werner. Marcel Zabitza. Well, that is how to run at defenders. Nkunku. Zabitza! Not the easiest of situations for the keeper. And behind it's gone for a corner. And short it is. It's with Lucas Klosterman. Real danger. Must score! Staunch rear guard action. Short corner favoured. An attack full of promise. Beautifully weighted ball. In it goes. An early goal. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, he had enough time to think about it, didn't he? He knew what he was going to do and did it brilliantly. Now let's go back to the goal that was scored. So the match has restarted. 1 0 here. Here's Patrick Schick. Mukiele. Werner. And Patrick Schick now.
Well, let's see that again. Oh, he's so sweetly hit. Look at his technique. Absolutely brilliant. He's got the power, he's got the accuracy, and now he's got himself a goal. A second goal for them here. Dil Rozun on the ball. It's with Piontek. They've won back possession. Speculative ball fired to the near post. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Firing it towards goal. Well, that would be straightforward for any keeper. Nordi Mukieli. Schick. Timo Werner. Getting forward. Targets to aim at. Danger averted for now. And here's Cunha. Can they hit on the break? They've regained possession. Leipzig enjoying the bulk of possession here. It's important to have strong, dominant players in your midfield, and they've got that. Just look at what that control gives you. Forsberg. He read the situation defensively and did his job. And it's with Askasibar. It's with Piontek. Mateus Cunha. Good use of advantage by the referee. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. Goalkeeping right out of the top drawer. I cannot believe he's kept that out the net. Absolutely amazing. Now the delivery, routine really. Here's Patrick Schick, Angelino. Schick with it, given away. That's well blocked. Nkunku. And that's an important intervention. Luca Bacchio. Looking confident with the ball at his feet. Shellbred. It looks promising. Happy to take on the shot. No real threat, you've got to say. And now with Angelino. The ball with Zabitza. Werner. And he stopped them just when they looked menacing. Santiago Ascasibar. Can they switch to an e And he's made headway! Put themselves. I don't think the goalkeeper will be complaining about poor finishing like that, Lee. No, it's not about the goalkeeper, it's about that poor effort. That really is awful. Nkunku has it. Tremendous ball played through. It might be. Well, he made that intercept. Well, what an opportunity, but really good defending, you've got to say. Shellbred. Santiago Ascasibar. Mateus Cunha. And 
the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Well, he's been a long way from his best up front, Lee. Well, he's tried hard, Derek, I'll give him that, but his heart has ruled his head. Never clever enough today to find enough space to lose his marker. That's probably the major reason why they're losing this game. Two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Shellbred, and it's with Askasibar moving the ball forward with purpose. Tackling and winning the ball to boot. And slipped through beautifully. And Patrick Schick now. Well, it's goal after goal. To go just no end to this a brilliant display well here it is again it's just a perfectly weighty ball in behind and not a bad finish either great goal well let's go back to the goal that was scored Sadly, we have to conclude that this hasn't really been a contest, but all credit to any side committed to scoring goals like this. Luca Bacchio, a really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw-in. And the cross goes in. Magnificent defending. And it's gone behind for the corner. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. And firing it into the area. Just couldn't capitalise there. Great chance with that header, but he sent it wide of the post. Well, it's quite easy to head that one over the bar. This time he just gets his angles wrong, just past the post. Upamecano, the ball with Zabitza. Really sitting deep now, that could be problematic. And threading it forward, and just a whisker away with that effort. Well, he chose his instep, good technique, just wide. Grujic, read it magnificently and intercepted. A highly purposeful attack, this. The emphasis on getting the ball forward. Cleared away. And providing width. Useful ball towards the back post this time. He succeeds in clearing it. Half an hour remaining then. Mukiele, space on the flank. Here's Patrick Schick. He takes aim. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. They favoured a short one here. Getting forward. Upamecano. Shot attempted. The goal appeared to be at his mercy, but defenders always have a part to play in these situations. Well, if you can't block the shot, put the forward off, and that's exactly what happened there, but it's just off target. Oh, 
Thank goodness he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team. Far from a good pass. Promising looking ball. Timo Werner. And the keeper gets in the way. Playing it short. Uber Makane. The ball with Zabitza. And Patrick Schick now. Powerful enough, but not precise enough. No, not accurate enough at all. He had other options on as well. Nkunku, a sloppy pass. Lima on the ball. Here's Patrick Sheik. You'd really have to switch on the turbo to get to that pass. This might have potential. An important interception. Cleared away comprehensively. 15 minutes remaining. Sheik with it. Werner. Danger averted for now. Illegal play and hence a free kick. They've given it away. It's all about translating threats into goals. Can he take the chance? Absolutely spot on with that challenge. Taken short. Turning inside. Where's he going to go? And the defender finding a solution to the problem. Marcel Zabitza. He continues his run. Firing it towards goal. It could be up for grabs. Danger averted. Adams. Nkunku. And now with Angelino. He's had to go for it. Wins the ball. And possession lost, intercepted. Werner. Konrad Leimer. Promising sequence. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. It's with Vladimir Darida. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. The fist of the goalkeeper. And three minutes will be added on for stoppages. Adams. Good looking sequence. The ball with Zabitza. Well, just couldn't keep the ball. It's with Vladimir Darida. And the referee says that is all for today. Well, he is a player with the capacity to enthrall Timo Werner. Lee, let's get your assessment as regards his performance in this game. 
Well, clearly the difference between the two sides today. Two goals, a really good performance. Running to